Hello everyone, thank you for joining me, I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a goat. The large goat, this one, crocheted using 8 ply and a 3mm hook, is 10cm by 13cm or 4 inches by 5 inches. The medium goat crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5mm hook is 6 and a half centimetres by nine centimetres or two and a half inches by three and a half inches. The small goat crocheted using two ply crochet cotton and a one millimetre hook is five centimetres by seven centimetres or two inches by two and three quarter inches. I'll be using Katona four ply crochet cotton today it crochets up thicker than my normal four ply cotton, so I'll be using a 2.5 millimetre hook. The colours I've got are colour 162, 248, 110, 506, and 106. I've also got my scissors, my darning needle to weave in the ends, my sewing thread and needle to stitch it together. Now I'm starting on the head, I've got my colour 248 which is called Champagne and I start with 3 chain. For row 1 I miss the first chain and work 1 single crochet in each remaining chain. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet put the hook into the stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through both loops and a single crochet into the last stitch. For row two we start with one chain and turn and we work two single crochet into each of our two stitches. We've got four stitches. For row three we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch one single crochet into each of the next two stitches and work two single crochet into the last stitch For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 2 single crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into each of the next 4 stitches. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. We'll have eight stitches. For row five we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. So we'll work six single crochet. And then we work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. 
to a joint single crochet, put the hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and then hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. We've got three loops on our hook and then we put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each of our seven stitches. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 8 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 1 single crochet into each stitch till we have 2 stitches left. So that will be 5 stitches, 1 single crochet into each of the first 5 stitches. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. A joined single crochet over the following two stitches and then one single crochet into each of the last two stitches. For row 10 we start with three chain and turn. We're going to work a joined double crochet over the first two stitches. A double crochet is a treble using UK turns. For a joined double crochet put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Then put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. We have three loops on our hook, then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And then we're going to work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And that's the head done except for the neatening row. For the neatening row we start with one chain and we're going to work a single crochet in each stitch right around the head. So we just find a suitable place to put our hook for the single crochet, not too far from the edge. So I'll continue working a single crochet into each stitch and I'll be back when I get near the end of the row. When you get back to the beginning of the row you slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off.
and that's the head done. Now I'll start on these inner ears now, they both work the same. I'm using 506 which is caramel and I start with 4 chain. I work a single crochet in the second chain from the hook a half double crochet in the next stitch a half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms for a half double crochet put the yarn around the hook hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops and then work a single crochet in the last stitch. And fasten off. And that's the first inner ear done. The second one will be worked the same. We start with four chain. We work a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. A half double crochet into the next stitch. And a single crochet into the last stitch. And fasten off. Now I'll just weave in those ends and I'll be back and we'll work the row around the inner ear. Now for the outer ear we join the 248, the champagne, to any stitch. I like to join it to a side stitch because I'm going to work the end stitches, the corner stitches a little bit differently. And then we work a slip stitch into each side stitch. For a slip stitch put your hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. And into a corner stitch we work one slip stitch, one chain and one slip stitch. That just gives it a little bit of a point. And then work a slip stitch into each stitch up the side. Into the corner stitch work a slip stitch, a chain and a slip stitch. and work a slip stitch into each stitch up to the join and fasten off and when I weave in my end I'll just stitch it into the top of that stitch there so you can't really see the join and the second one has worked the same so just join in the side and work a slip stitch into each stitch up the side Into the corner stitch work one slip stitch, one chain and one slip stitch.
and then a slip stitch into each stitch along the side. and a slip stitch a chain and a slip stitch into the corner stitch. The one corner where the ends have been woven in is always a bit harder. And then a slip stitch into each stitch down the side to the, the join. And fasten off. And that's the second ear. Now I'll start on these horns now. I'm using my number 162, the black coffee, and I make a magic loop. There are lots of ways to make a magic loop. I like to put my hook on the yarn, bring the short end over the hook, and then take the long end over the short end to make a circle. Then put the yarn around the hook, and bring the hook with the yarn through the circle, and there's my magic loop. I start with three chain and I work one double crochet into my circle. The double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet put the yarn around the hook, hook in through the circle and bring back a loop. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with this yarn at the end through two loops. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with this yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. Then we pull the circle tight for row 2 we start with 3 chain and turn our work and we work 1 double crochet into the stitch and 1 double crochet into the top of the chain. And fasten off. And that's a horn. We need to make another one. It's made the same. So we start with our magic loop. And we work three chain. And then work one double crochet into the circle. And we pull the circle tight. For row 2 we start with 3 chain and turn. We work 1 double crochet in the stitch and 1 double crochet in the top of the chain and fasten off. And that's the second horn done. Now for the eye, I've got my 106, my Snow White, and I make a magic loop. I start with one chain and I work four single crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight and work a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. And fasten off. And there's the eye. 
Now for the bed, I've got no, number 506, the caramel, and I start with four chain. I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the following three chain. For row two, I start with three chain and turn and I'm going to work a join double crochet over the three stitches. For a join double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Then put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through two loops. Then yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. We've got four, four loops on our hook, then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And we fasten off. And that's the bead done. Now I'll start on the body now. I start up just behind the head and I've got my 248, the champagne, and I make a magic loop. For row one, I start with two chain and work one half double crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight and then I work three chain. For row two, I miss the first chain and work a single crochet into each of the next two chain. And I work two single crochet in the top of the stitch. For row three, I start with one chain and turn. I work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. I'll work two single crochet in the last stitch and I'll have five stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And then work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row four, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. We'll have six stitches. For row 5, we start with 1 chain and turn, work 2 single crochet into the first stitch1 single crochet into each stitch to the last 2 stitches and we work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For 
for bow six we start with one chain and turn. We'll work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have seven stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row seven, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. We'll have seven stitches. So after our two single crochet in the first, one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row weight we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and we'll work two single crochet into the last stitch. We'll have eight stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. Work two single crochet into the last stitch. Now we're going to work eight chain. The eight chains for along the back. For row nine, we miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. We'll have 15 stitches. For row 10, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then we'll work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 17 stitches. So after our two single crochet in the first, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch.
and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 16 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch till we have two left. I've got two stitches left so I'll work a joined single crochet over my last two stitches. For row 12 I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of my 16 stitches. For row 13 I start with one chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and I work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and I'll have 14 stitches. So after my joined single crochet I work one single crochet into each stitch till I have two left. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 14 I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the 14 stitches.
row 15 I start with one chain and turn I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then one single crochet into each stitch to the end and I'll have 13 stitches And that's the body done. I'm going to start on this front leg now. I start with one chain and turn. I work one single crochet into the first stitch and a joined single crochet over the following two stitches. For row 17 I start with one chain and turn I work a joined single crochet over the two stitches and work one single crochet into that last stitch. For row 18 I start with one chain and turn. I work one single crochet into the first stitch and a joined single crochet over the first stitch so the same stitch as that first single crochet and the last stitch. That just bends the leg forward a bit. For row 19 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the two stitches and one single crochet into the last stitch. And for row 20 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the two stitches and fasten off. And that's the body and the front leg done. For this back leg, I join the cotton on the last stitch of the body, just in there. And work one chain. I work two single crochet into that first stitch. and a joined single crochet over the next two stitches. For row two, I start with one chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 3 I start with one chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet into the last stitch. For row 4 I start with one chain and turn. I work one single crochet into the first stitch and one half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 5 I start with one chain and turn and work 
one single crochet into each of the two stitches. For row 6 I start with one chain and turn. I work a single crochet into the first stitch and one half double crochet into the last stitch. And that's the body and the two legs done. Now we're not going to fasten off, we're going to start on a neatening row now. For the neatening row, we're working up the back leg and around to the back. We're going to work one slip stitch into each stitch till we get to the back. So for a slip stitch just put your hook in to the stitch, bring a loop through and straight through the loop on the hook. Into the first stitch on the back, work two single crochet, work two half double crochet into each of the next two stitches, and a single crochet into the following stitch. Now that just gives a bit of shaping for the back. Now we're going to work one slip stitch into each stitch up to the neck and down and to the end of the leg, the front leg. So one single crochet into each stitch. Oh, sorry, one slip stitch into each stitch.
Now into the end of the foot, work one chain and work one single crochet into each of the stitches at the end of the foot. That's just so it will be easier to work a hoof on to the end of the foot. Then work a slip stitch into each stitch down to the end of the leg. And that's the first leg done. Now work a slip stitch into each of the first two stitches along the stomach. Then work one single crochet into each of the next four stitches. and then a slip stitch into each stitch till you get to the end of the leg. Now into the end of the leg work one chain and one single crochet into each of the two stitches. And fasten off. And that's the body done. Now for this far back leg, I've got my champagne, the 248, and I start with three chain. For row one, I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the remaining two chain. For row 2, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the two stitches. For row 3, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the two stitches. For row 4, I start with one chain and turn and I work two single crochet into each of the two stitches. For row 5, I start with one chain and turn I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. 
for bow six I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the two stitches. Now that's the leg done except for a neatening row and the hoof. For the neatening row we work one slip stitch in each stitch up the side along the top and down the bottom. We don't work across the end. So one slip stitch into each stitch up the side along the top and then down the other side. and fasten off. And that's the far back leg done. For this far front leg, using the same cotton, we start with three chain For row 1, we miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the remaining two chain. For row 2, we start with two chain and we're going to work a joined half double crochet over the two stitches. For a joined half double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop. And then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through all the loops. And then we work One single crochet in the last stitch, the same stitch as the last part of our joined half double crochet. For row two, we start with one chain and turn, work one single crochet in the first stitch, and then work a joined half double crochet over that same stitch as our single crochet and the last stitch. For row 4 we start with 2 chain and turn and we work a joined half double crochet over the 2 stitches and a single crochet in that last stitch. That's making the leg bend in a bit. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn. We work a single crochet in that first stitch and then a joined half double crochet over the two stitches. And the leg's been bending in quite well now. And for row 6 we start with two chain and turn and work a joined half double crochet over the two stitches and a single crochet in that last stitch.
and that's the leg done except for the neatening row. For the neatening row we're going to work one slip stitch into each stitch up the side along the top and down the other side but not along the end of the foot. So a slip stitch into each stitch up the first side along the top and down the other side. Once we get to the end of the leg, we fasten off. And that's the front leg. I'll just weave in those ends and I'll be back and we'll do the hooves. Now, for the hooves, I join my black cotton at the first stitch at the end of a leg and work two chain. I work two half double crochet in the same stitch as a chain. And two half double crochet into the next stitch. and fasten off. And that's the first hoof done. All the other hooves will work the same. So I join my black cotton in the first stitch at the end of the other leg and work two chain two half double crochet in that same stitch as a chain and two half double crochet into the next stitch and fasten off Those are the hooves done for the main part and I do the same for the far legs. Join my black cotton in the first stitch at the end and work two chain. and work two half double crochet in that same stitch and two half double crochet into the next stitch.
and fasten off. And the same for the far back leg. Join in the first stitch and work two chain. Work two half double crochet in that same stitch. and two half double crochet into the next stitch. And fasten off. Now for the tail, I'm using my black coffee the 162 and I work four chain for row one I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the next three chain For row 2, I start with 1 chain and turn. I work 2 single crochet into the first stitch. And a joined single crochet over the next 2 stitches. For row 3, I start with 1 chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and work one single crochet in the last stitch. For row three I start with three chain and turn and I work a joined double crochet over the two stitches. and fasten off. Now that's all the pieces worked so I'll weave in the rest of the ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. And there's all the pieces. I've got the body, the beard, the two ears, the head, the two horns, the tail, the far back leg, the far front leg and the eye. The first things I'll do is embroider these black markings on the eye. I'll attach the tail in behind the body there, just about there, and I'll attach the ears. The one goes about there on the front, and the other one goes around about there at the back. We need to leave room to attach the horns. So one horn will go there and the other horn will go in the back. So I'll go just in about there. I'll attach them and I'll be back. Now the next things I'll do is attach the horns. The one goes at the front and the other goes in behind just about there and I'll embroider on the mouth and the nostril. The next things I'll do is attach the eye and embroider on an eyebrow just above the eye. Next I attach the head to the body. The head goes about there we need to have enough room to attach the beard just in there after we've attached the head. The last things I'll do is attach the beard. It just slips in 
under the chin there and I'll attach the back leg just about there it is slightly up from the other back leg and the far front leg goes from around there and then in under the other front leg and you can just see a bit of the hoof sticking out from the back. So I'll attach those and I'll be back to show you the finished goat. And there's the finished goat. If you've liked my video please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Patreon and the details of my Facebook group. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.